And when you do that, people think you're trying to get rid of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> but uh, the Bible says we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. We didn't always know. You're just fortunate if your understanding come open. And you're blessed to be able to understand scripture. I want to work on spiritual warfare. Amen. Spiritual confrontation. All of us here and everyone that are listening are in a conflict now. There's a war between you and God's will. And anyone say that they're not having a conflict, well, you keep living. Your conflict is waiting. Because for anybody to do this the right way, every child of God is going to have an argument, a debate, a conflict, some type of quarrel between something that God says versus what you want to do. And if you read the scriptures, the devil always involved himself. Now we're talking about the same one that caused such havoc and disorder in heaven. I marvel at men who get over the air and say the devil don't have no power. Something's wrong with you. In fact, the devil is making you tell that lie. The devil used men to convince the human family that Satan is not as strong as the Bible show us that he is. And if you don't believe how strong the devil is, then you will underestimate him and overestimate yourself. The Apostle Paul, born in Tarsus in the city of Cilicia, sat under the feet of Gadmilia, who was a doctor of the law. Gadmilia was a Pharisee. And he taught Brother Saul according to the perfect manner of the law. But he did not teach Paul the revelation of Scripture. He just taught Paul according to the perfect manner of the law. And even the law knew it was one God. That's right. But when God later on revealed himself in Paul and gave Paul the revelation of truth, Paul stood for God, but Paul was in conflict with himself. That's right. I want to show you this, brothers and sisters. In the book of You know, Romans. a lot of folks think it's strange because you have the Holy Ghost. You still have problems. <laughs> I, I don't understand why people think this way. You know, folks think that if they baptize or get baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and receive the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue, it's just smooth sailing <laughs> with you and Jesus. <laughs> Sometimes you see people who act like it's smooth sailing. You hmm. see them all out in the street giving out flyers and pamphlets with a big old smile on their face. Hmm. Like they just ate breakfast with Jesus. Hmm. It won't be no smooth sailing all the time. Yeah. Just evaluate the titles of the adversary. Hmm. Satan is called a roaring lion. Yes. Now you ain't going out and pet a lion. No. If you got good sense. Mm -hmm. Satan also is called. The great red dragon. Mm -hmm. Satan also is called. The old serpent. Right. Old serpent mean he's a master in deception. Yeah. Another dangerous title the devil have. Angel. Of light. That's right. Now, the Bible didn't say he is light. No. The Bible says he's transformed himself into an angel of light. <laughs> this is not real light. Mm -hmm. 
This is man-made light. Real light is the light of the sun. That's right. The light of the moon. This is man-made. Yeah. Satan transformed himself so he can appear to be godly. Mm -hmm. He can appear to be righteous. He can appear to be holy. Why does the devil come like this to camouflage himself? Mm -hmm. To get you not to be righteous and to get you to stop being holy. So the devil come in the form of preachers, churches, social media, television. And the devil aim is to target that which stands for truth. That's right. That's why I thank God for the truth of God telecast. My God is like a light up on the hill. Stands all alone. Can't get it mixed up with nobody. People try to sound like it, try to imitate it and all that, but it fails. A tricycle can't sound like a motorcycle. That's right. No more than a faucet drip have the effect of a tsunami. That's right. <coughs> I was watching the news this morning on CNN and... Um, in Indonesia. Indonesia had an earthquake several months ago. But this time they said it was a volcano far off. And Indonesia didn't get no warning. And a tsunami just came up. And, I, and the footage that they showed, I find it very interesting because they showed an Indonesian concert taking place. Everybody was gathered together. The performers were performing. And this was at night. And this tsunami wave just blasted through the entire crowd. Knocked the stage down. Washed everything away. God just came with his wrath like a thief. That goes to show you that many inventions are made, but... Man is not designed to predict God. That's right. Tsunami just came, and then the band leader, he survived, but he was on the air telling people to please pray. He, they lost members of the band, can't find his wife, and can't find his child. Many people dead, gone. But they was out there having worldly fun. Thank God and God disturbed the waters and made the waters arise and dragged the living back out to sea. Now, this gospel is designed to prepare us to meet God. That's what the truth of God is over the air for. It is the strongest message, not only in America, but in the world. That's right. Because there is no message stronger than scripture. Amen. None. Amen. And the devil know how strong this message is. <clears throat> That's why the devil have always attacked the message of God. The devil attacked God. That's right. Think of it. Before God was manifested in the flesh. One thing I say about the devil. You got to say he's bold. Oh yeah. I mean who is it that will stand up and challenge God and tell him. Oh I'm going to be like you. Lord. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be like the most high. Yes. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to take over heaven. I'm going to dethrone you. Yeah. The devil in his own ignorance and foolish talk. He knew it couldn't be done. For the Lord said, who is my equal? Saith the Holy One. Yeah. The devil know he can't be equal with God. But you got to respect him. At least he tried. Amen. Even now, false prophets know they're not equal to the truth of the gospel. No. But even though they try. And the objective of every false prophet hmm. Is to get you from following God. That's right. Listen at this now. In the book of Romans chapter 7. I want you to follow me and get me. Romans chapter 7. We'll start at verse 22. Uh -huh. For I delight in the law of God after the inward man. Wait a minute. Hmm. Focus closely on the language of the Bible. He did not say that his flesh delight. No. 
in the law of God. For I delight in the law of God after the inward man. Wait a minute. What, what part delight in it? The inward man. <laughs> that's right. The spirit of God that's in him. Yeah. Delight in the things of God. Our flesh don't delight in what God said. No. That's why you're fasting and praying and asking God to help you. Mm -hmm. Choir saying, make you happy, feel good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Then the word comes to remind you what you're dealing with. That's right. What you're confronted with. That's right. But our hope is in the word. Yeah. You don't have hope in nothing else. No. Thank God without God's word, you're lost. That's right. Listen. But I see another law. Uh-oh. I, I see another law. Another law. In my members. Amen. It's located where? In my members. And what happened to me? Warring. <laughs> Conflict. Debate. Mm -hmm. Argument. Mm -hmm. Fight. Warring with what? Against the law of my mind. Hold it right there. That's right. Let's put on our truth of God boots. <laughs> That's right. Amen. I guess walk through those scriptures here. That's right. In order for there to be another law in your members warring, warring. against the law of your mind, mm -hmm. Your mind have to hear a law opposite from the law of your members. That's right. Because if there is no other law in your mind, if you're not taught another law, then there is no conflict between mind and body. That's right. When you was a sinner, your body act out what your mind thought. Mm -hmm. There was no conflict. No. Your mind say, I want a cigarette this morning. Your body say, get a light. That's right. No conflict. No conflict. <laughs> Your mind say, I want to smoke some weed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The body, get a joint. That's right. Amen. That's right. The mind says, Friday night, I'm getting off work. I think I'll go to the boom boom room. <laughs> <laughs> Go down to the club to the boom boom room. That's right. <laughs> eh? That's right. Sit down there and look at the boom boom room. <laughs> have your liquor, have your weed. Yeah. Putting money down and thongs and tank tops. That's right. Your mind thought it. Body it didn't disagree. No. <clears throat> so as long as you're a sinner. Mm -hmm. Full of hell. Right. Full of your father, the devil. <laughs> you agree with Satan. You are the servants of, of sin. L listen, listen at this. Listen at this now. In Romans chapter 6 and at verse 20. Listen. For when ye were the servants of sin. When ye were the servants of sin. Ye were free from righteousness. <laughs> ah, Amen. Look at here. Amen. Give chapter and verse again. Romans chapter 6 and at verse 20. When you were. The servants of sin. <coughs> the servants of sin. Ye were free from righteousness. Ye were free from doing right. Is right. that not the truth? That's the truth. Amen. That's right. There wasn't nobody in the club think about going to church? No. Huh? No. What that song the choir just got finished singing? <laughs> The Lord is blessing me right now. Right now. You wasn't thinking about that. No. And you in the boom, boom room dancing. No, no. Were you? You weren't thinking about the Lord is blessing me. You weren't thinking about that. No. You was too busy dancing according to the music of your time. That's right. So the body agreed with the kernel mind. That's right. Because it is written, they that are after the flesh do mind <clears throat> the things of the flesh. flesh. Now, so body and the mind mm -hmm. is in full agreement mm -hmm. when you're not righteous. That's right. Now, the kernel mind mm -hmm. is introduced to a spiritual law. That's right. And when the kernel mind is introduced now... Mm -hmm to a divine law mm -hmm. and start considering what it's hearing, mm -hmm. then the kernel mind slowly but surely gravitate yeah. 
to the spiritual things of God. For we know that the law is spiritual. Listen at this. Now in the book of Romans chapter 7 and at verse 14. We know that the law is spiritual. That the law is spiritual. But. But. I am carnal. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. You bear in mind, this is brother Paul. Paul. The apostle. That's right. Huh? That's right. The same one that said if an angel come from heaven and <laughs> Preach any other gospel than <laughs> what he right. preached. That's right. Let the angel be a cur Oh, he challenged all heaven. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Amen. He challenged heaven and dead angels to come to the earth and right. contradict his God-given message. That's right. But Paul was not beside himself. No. Paul still knew he was not in the spirit 24 hours a day. Amen. And look at his admission. For we know that the law yeah, is You better spiritual. give chapter and verse. I want this to be good for all overzealous and overrighteous folk. Yeah. I don't care how much you speak in tongue. If you never have to, if you didn't walk here, you float <laughs> all the way down 13. And, <laughs> and when you got to the toll booth, the ones in the toll booth saw the glory. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's right. They saw the glory upon you and just said, go on. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It doesn't matter. No, no. Thank God. Hey, listen at this now. Romans chapter 7 and at verse 14. Bless the name of God. Come on, son. For we know that the law is we spiritual. We know that the law is is spiritual. Now the laws of God, the rules of God, the regulations of God. Amen. God bring rules to regulate the church. That's right. God bring rules to regulate his people. That's right. Because if he didn't bring rules to regulate his people, then the whole world would be as it were in the days of Nimrod, Amen. doing everything that they want to do, not worrying about consequences at all. That's right. What did he say? For we know that the law is we spiritual. We know that the law is spiritual. But I am carnal. I am carnal. Sold under sin. Sold. Sold under sin. Under sin. Amen. You are sold just like a slave. That's right. Was sold on auction. That's right. Whenever one was a slave and was auctioned off, they were not auctioned off to go into freedom. That's right. They were auctioned off to go into bondage. That's right. So when you were sold, sold. into sin, you did not go into freedom. No. You went into bondage just like Israel went into Egypt. No, you're not. Eh? That's right. Don't you know? That to whom you yield yourselves servants to, to obey. ye yield your servants to obey. His servants ye are. His servants ye are. To whom ye obey. All right, so here we are now. Yeah. Struggling. That's right. That's right. God said you can't serve two masters. Mm -mm. That's why you're praying to the master. That's right. To deliver you from a master. That's right. Did you get my language? That's right. Eh? That's right. You are praying Pray. to the master mm -hmm. for deliverance Amen. from a master. That's right. That's right. The Bible said for one. Mm -hmm is your master even Christ mm -hmm. but Christ is your master when you obey and serve him that's right do you hear the Bible talking now in the book of St. Matthew chapter 6 and verse 24 that's what no man no oh, oh wait a minute now amen I don't care who you are Mr. Man that's big right. man small man short man fat man rich man poor man mm -hmm. No man. No man can serve two masters. Do you hear this? In Matthew 6 and verse 24. You just can't be in a false church and then want to be in truth. Be in a false church. Be in truth. Old folks say you can't straddle the fence. That's right. You have to be in this all the way. Amen. Huh? Amen. Amen. No man can serve. Two masters. Why are you trying? Mm. You lighting a cigarette and you want to go to church. Come on now. Come on. Some of you sitting right here now with a with, with a uh, with a electronic cigarette in your pocketbook, and <laughs> hey man, want to do some vaping? Some vaping, <laughs> that's right. That's hey right. man, yeah, hey man. So that way you don't feel like you're all the way wrong because you say, "Well, Pastor Jennings, I'm not smoking tobacco. I'm, I'm vaping. Vaping. Uh -huh, you're gonna vape right to hell. That's right. Just the same. That's right. Well, Pastor Jennings, it's not a real cigarette. What scripture would you say about that? Oh, I got a whole lot of scriptures lot in of my scriptural that. bag. That's right. And even though it's not a real cigarette, I got a scripture that'll crush your vape. That's right. The Bible says a 
avoid the very appearance of evil. So it looked like the real thing and you're still performing an evil act. That's so right. you got to avoid the look. That's right. Get it out your mouth. Out your mouth. Now vape that. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Come on, son. No man can serve two masters. You thought you was doing something, didn't you? That's right. Glory to God. That's right. No man can serve two masters. Two masters. Now, another scripture says a double-minded man is unstable in how much? All his ways. The churches today have a double mind. Yeah. A double mind introduces a double standard. That's right. A double standard want to integrate Bible and the devil. Yeah. And this is why churches are so weak. Their heart is divided. My, my, my. Oh, you're ready this morning. Amen. Oh, you, you're ready this morning. Amen. Amen. Yeah, yeah, amen. You, it didn't come as a result being too close to that Christmas tree last oh, night. Oh, no, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. You thought you was back home, didn't you? <laughs> Glory to God. What did he say? Give chapter and verse. In the book of Hosea, chapter 10 and at verse 2. Listen at this, brothers and sisters and viewers. Follow me in your Bible. Hosea <clears throat> chapter 10 and verse 2. All right. Their heart is divided. Their heart, heart is divided. Now shall they be found faulty. Now. Amen. When you are divided, because mm -hmm. God is not the author of confusion. That's right. When you are divided, you're unstable. Mm -hmm. And you're not properly balanced. Amen. You know, <clears throat> this time of year, there's a lot of potholes in the road. Yeah. And uh, I mean, if you hit one hard enough, I may uh, tear your whole axle up. That's right. But if you hit one at a reasonable speed, mm -hmm. later on, you'll see your wheels is out of line. Yeah. Your wheel can be straight and you may drift to the left, drift to the right. Yeah. So what you do, you go to your dealer. So they can fix the problem and give your will alignment. That's right. Because when your will is out of line, sometimes you can feel a wobble That's right. in your steering wheel. And if you ignore it over a period of time and then look at your tire, you can see how the tread wear down. Amen. It don't wear down evenly. Amen. Brothers and sisters, when you have a double minded or confused Amen. or unstable, you need to come to the body shop. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. What is the body shop? The church. Amen. And uh, you must be hooked up to scripture. Yeah. They give you a spiritual alignment. That's right. So you can travel on this holy journey oh, hey. the right way. That's right. Now, anytime you have a belief, and I want you to hear me well. A belief that contradicts the Bible is all out there in the road of your spiritual travel. That's right. Mm -hmm. You see, when you got a woman preacher, that's a pothole. Amen. <laughs> huh? Amen. Hey Amen. You want to drink beer, that's a pothole. That's right. You want to live together, not marry, pothole. That's right. Homosexual, deep pothole. Amen. Amen. That's a very deep Amen. pothole. Amen. Amen. You're a Baptist pothole. Yeah. Methodist, Presbyterian, you believe you can divorce pothole. Okay. So these churches are not leading you into the kingdom with a smooth journey. Amen. Because we're on the highway. Oh, yes. And the Bible says a highway shall be there yes. and a way shall be called the way of holiness. Oh, yes. So if you're on a highway that's filled with other religions, yes. there's potholes. That's right. Glory to God in your road. That's right. And I, and I know you hit those potholes because I can hear your muffler making a lot of noise. Amen. Eh? Amen. Amen. Before I came out, there was a group meeting in one of the rooms, and you would think they had more people in, the, in that room than this auditorium. Yeah. And uh, all of the music was going and they just kept going. The keyboard player and the drummer and <laughs> all the woman was screaming and hollering. And I told Shed, I said, you know what? I think I ought to go in there. Go in there. See what's happening. He said, you are. I said, yeah. Oh, she hollered and hollered. So, uh, hey, man. Uh, I wanted to see, you <laughs> know. See, what's, going, what's going on? What was all the fuss about? <laughs> that's right. That's right. So, all right. I went in there and opened the door. It was all the women. Mm. Was a woman, a woman preacher, all the women, and one poor man banging on the drums. And, 
And uh, I, when I came in and showed my face, obviously they recognized who I was. Mm -hmm. She was screaming in the microphone, and I caught her in scream mode. <laughs> so when I opened the door and just stood there, she was yelling, ah! And she said, ah! <laughs> <laughs> and I just looked at her and just shook my head. <laughs> I want her to see the great disgust. That's right. Because there was a pothole there. That's right. Huh? That's right. And to keep my wheels in line with the scripture, yeah. I couldn't fellowship with that. No, no. I had to get back in my car and drive on <laughs> back here to church, you know. That's, that's right. Brothers and sisters, when you confuse or double-minded, yeah. you lack stability. Oh, yeah. So you'll go to a Baptist church one day, Methodist church one day, a Mormon church one day, a Lutheran church one day. You'll do religious hopping. That's right. And then say you're serving the same God. No, you're not. No, you're not. God is one. Mm -hmm. God belief is one. Right. God belief have no flexibility whatsoever. That's right. And let us understand something. Mm -hmm. God will not make no changes to suit me or you. Amen. Eh? Amen. God, I say. I say God. Right. I'm talking about the God of heaven. Yeah. The one in the Old Testament that's called the I am, that I am. And yeah. he's called Elohim. He's called Yahweh. He's called Yah. He's called Lord God Almighty. Right. Lord God of hosts. He's called Alpha, Omega, beginning and ending. He's called uh, the Holy One, the oh. Holy One of Israel. He's called all that. That's right. But his name is Jesus. That's right. And he's the Christ. That's right. He will not alter his standard, his belief, his rules, his laws for nobody. Amen. I don't care how cute you are. God don't care and I don't. No. Now, if God start to care, perhaps he will move me to care. That's right. But God don't care how cute you believe you are, nor do I. That's right. And I know the grave don't care. Amen. I never saw no beautiful woman be buried and the grave say, she's too fine to be here and threw her out. <laughs> no. And she came out the casket. Well, I'll go another time. No, you won't. <laughs> oh, oh no. thank God. Ah! That's right. Oh, it be to the Father. That's right. God have one law. Amen. One rule. The objective of the straight path of holiness mm -hmm. is to prepare you to meet the one true living God. That's right. The objective of confusion in churches and in religion yeah. is to derail you from the straight path of God. That's right. Listen at this. Their heart is divided. Is your heart divided this afternoon? Divided. Huh? Amen. Your viewers that are watching, is your heart divided? Hmm. You look at all these Muppets on social media. That's right. They call themselves preachers, but they Muppets. Amen. What do you mean, Pastor Jennings, the Muppets are not real? That's right. Huh? That's right. You watch Kermit in the pulpit and some of you following women <laughs> preachers, Miss Piggy. <laughs> huh? Sure you do. Amen. Amen. Some of you got Ernie and Bert for deacons and bishops. And That's right. Amen. That's right. In other words, your church is just as equal to Sesame Street. <laughs> Amen. You're not learning nothing godly. No. You're not learning nothing spiritual. Mm -hmm. The church is supposed to be a divine institution. Amen. In fact, it's supposed to be the greatest spiritual institution in the world. That's right. And the only textbook that is permissible in church is the scriptures. Amen. Nothing else. Nothing else. I said, I said, nothing else, I said. That's right. What did he say there? Their heart is divided. Is your heart divided? Woman, woman, sister, are you divided? divided. Do you believe you got the calling? Mm. Did you go to some church and a preacher pulled you to the side and said, Sister Cheryl, you got the calling. And the preacher went in some type of fake spirit. Hanna na janna, hanna na janna, hanna na janna. And you start jumping. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Amen. All right, Sister Bogglehead Cheryl. Amen. Come on back now. You divided. You're divided. And we want to get you off the path of confusion. That's right. How you going to do that, Pastor Jennings? Mm -hmm. God never talked to no man mm -hmm. or no woman or bring no revelation to cause them to say or do anything or to go anywhere yeah. that contradicts 
his word. That's right. Yeah. That's right. You see, the scriptures is our GPS system. Amen. And one thing about the scriptures, the difference between your GPS system and the car, you know, sometimes the car GPS system can take you on a scenic route. Yeah. Take you all the way around That's right. just to get to one place. That's right. The place is only cross the street. The GPS take you all through the woods and somewhere through a cornfield and tobacco field. And all you had to do was to go across the street. That's right. Well, the scriptures don't pull you to the left no. or to the right. Amen. The scriptures is either taking you, letting you know you're going up or you're going down. That's right. And then the scriptures let you choose which way you want. Oh, yes. Hmm? Oh, yes. If you want to go to hell, God say, I give you that. That's right. If you want to be right and be saved, God say, I give you that. That's right. Until the prophets declare to us, choose ye this day whom you're going to serve. The choice is yours. Oh, yes. Dover, Delaware, oh, yes. and the whole state of Delaware, mm -hmm. and the United, or should I say, and the divided right. states of America. <laughs> I stopped calling America the United States. They ain't united. No. Only thing America is united on is being of the devil. That's right. And that's all they're united on. That's right. They're not even united on the devil in the White House. Amen. They're divided with him. With him. Yes. Amen. And America certainly ain't united on God. No. If you was united with on God, there would not be an image in your house. You would not have an idol in your house. You would not be petting yourself, tapping your head and your stomach and both sides of your chest, bowing to a cross and kissing images. No, you wouldn't be doing none of that. No. You would be ready to surrender your mind, heart, soul, body, and spirit mm -hmm. to God everlasting, eternal will. That's right. That, that don't work in your favor. No. Let us just understand that God's way don't work in your favor. Amen. Man, when God done with you, listen, what do you think he mean, new creature? New creature. To better understand this, but when you see a worm, mm -hmm. the worm have an appointed time that it spins its silk and form a cocoon and go in a secret place. Mm -hmm. It goes in a secret closet. Amen. Eh? Amen. Amen. And while it's in there, God dealing with him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Why? God is the creator of the worm. That's right. Yeah. And the worm sheds off its old body. Mm -hmm. But to do that, it has to go to itself. Right. Separate from everything. Yeah. And while it's in a cocoon for a period of time, God is remaking it. Yeah. Like being born all over again. That's right. Giving it a new body. Yeah. Uh, refashioning it. Oh, yeah. And after he give it a new body, he also give it a new behavior. That's right. And give it a new name. That's right. So when a cocoon bursts open, mm -hmm. don't expect the same thing that went in yeah. to come out. Oh, yeah. A worm went in. Yes. Lord, thank God, but a worm is not coming out. That's right. The worm went in slowly. slowly. But while it's in there, being redone. Yeah. Remade, mm -hmm. being worked on That's right. by the Creator. That's right. Then at the appointed time when it's changed, it's done, mm -hmm. the cocoon break open, yeah. a butterfly That's right. come out. That's Somebody right. said, wait a minute, a butterfly didn't go in there. That's right. right. <laughs> a butterfly didn't come in the church. Amen. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Amen. A bunch of worms. Yeah. Came in the church. That's right. And the worm had to repent. That's right. And be baptized in That's the name right. of Jesus Christ. And then that old worm seek the Lord for the Holy Ghost. Yeah. And then God teach that worm how to shed off yeah. the old man. That's right. Slowly but surely, we go through metamorphosis. Yeah. The changing of the body, the changing of the nature, the changing of the mind, the changing of the characteristics of the wicked That's right. to the righteous. That's right. Teaching transforms. Yeah. Teaching changes. Oh, yeah. And the devil's church don't give you a teaching that elevates you to be a new creature. No. It just keeps you as a creature, a creature, but never a new creature. That's right. For right. holy teaching. Yeah. Give your wings. Oh, yeah. Make your mount up. Hallelujah. Go and take off. Hallelujah. Wings of an eagle. That's right. 
make you run. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. And not be worthy. Make you walk. Not think. Glory to God and not think. That's right. Huh? That's right. So just like the caterpillar mm -hmm. went in mm -hmm. the cocoon. Yeah. Come out of butterfly. Yeah. Now it's elevated in the heavens. Right. Spread its wings. Yeah. It can do what it used to couldn't do. Right. Fly. Right. Huh? That's right. It used to couldn't do that. Yeah. But it had to endure time yeah. and change. Mm -hmm. And for it to do that, it had to get away from all others that was like him. That's right. And it had to wait for his own personal change to come. That's right. <laughs> yeah. That's right. That's why a lot of us don't change because we're still in the same religion mm -hmm. that was started by a man, founded by a man. The man's ideology is still polluting your spiritual walk. Right. The man's philosophy still destroying your spiritual walk. The man's way of thinking still keep you from walking this path straight. You walk the path wing footed. That's right. You take someone that got a got a straight line, a person that's wing footed can't walk that straight line. No. They feet gonna be all over the place. Amen. Huh? Amen. And if they try to straighten their feet out, it's uncomfortable through their bone structure. Yeah. You understand? That's right. Thank God, and that's the way the word of God is straight. Oh yeah. And narrow, narrow. is the way. And yeah. because the truth of God is a clear representation of the straight ways of God, yeah. them that are unstable. You can go to social media, brothers and sisters, and you'll find these so-called Jesus-only preachers yeah. just as unstable as they can be. That's right. And the world see them. Oh, yeah. One man wrote me and said, Pastor Janice, I went to social media. I didn't know there were so many church organizations that had similar names to First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ. He said, I didn't know that. Yes. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's many that got the name Jesus. Yeah. 